Now, hazards associated with floods can be reduced if residents are equipped with the necessary knowledge and fostering a proactive mindset. This, many say, will not only limit the immediate effects of disaster, but also build a foundation for long-term resilience. This, among other issues, were the point of discussion among stakeholders at a workshop on such matters held in Lagos recently. Correspondent Funke Adesoji reports. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, said no fewer than 33,983 persons were already affected by the 2023 flooding in different parts of the country. With 10 states affected, 7,353 persons injured, 75 deaths recorded, and 1,679 houses totally damaged. Here, participants agreed that enhanced community awareness and preparedness are key to reducing the hazards associated with flood disasters. What we have noticed is that there is a huge gap in terms of preparedness. We need to ensure that we put measures in place, build capacities of individuals and institutions to be able to prevent or mitigate the impact of crisis. And we all know that in the southern part of Nigeria, flood is one of the major uh, natural disasters that occurs on a yearly basis. But the challenge we have is we get all the signals that this will happen, but what measures do we have in place to mitigate this or prevent it or mitigate the impact? A lot of um, preventive um, um, disaster risk reduction so that it will be reduced to a minimum. There is no country that doesn't have their own disaster. And, but what, when we have structures in place that about evacuation, about making sure there is a livelihood for those that live in that you know, riverine communities, what you can do for them. And so those are the things we government can do. While the workshop is aimed at building the capacity of participants in flood risk management, partners here said these discussions are part of ongoing efforts to equip residents in flood-prone areas with a systematic approach to limit the impact of such disasters before official interventions take place. We also have to really tailor our answers and responses to the needs of women and men, of like people of all genders. It's really important, but also to be sensitive to that, that we, they have different needs. And I think it's a great opportunity here in Lagos to apply this gender sensitive lens to it and to think, OK, how can we really make the best responses in that case? And I think it's a very good platform here to really be a pioneer and really champion that because I think there is already a lot of awareness here and I think we can learn a lot from each other. What we do is ensure that we get together like this, we map the risk, we train ourselves and we get ourselves into a level of readiness that can reduce the possibility that even while these hazards become disasters and we have to deal with them, we will have done everything we can within our own human given power to reduce the risk to the barest minimum, such that we can build what we call resilience and be able to come back better after each time that we get the setback. As the adoption of strict town planning rules is seen as the ultimate solution to limit the effects of flood disasters, experts emphasize meaningful actions no matter how later. Funke Adesoji, Civil Bay News 24, Lagos.